We are live. We are live. live. Finally. Do it live. Do it live. We'll do it live. Now, for anyone that's watching, the three people that's showing here, uh, we're going to we're gonna record this, and I will edit back up at 8 o'clock tonight, so it'll be a little better. But uh, this is a new series we hope to do, what, maybe a couple times a month, maybe? I'm down. Yeah, where we will rank. Uh, I don't know. I was thinking today, I know we talked about toys, but it might be fun to rank other stuff, too, not limit ourselves just to toys, but. I'm done with that. We can we can decide. But this is to... this is a competition. Oh, and, I didn't know that. And, and uh. the, the chat gets to decide who wins. Oh, okay. Who's got the best top ten list? And and I am at a disadvantage here because I'm in your playground. This is your sandbox. Oh yeah, I can kick but you I out must, too. But I must break you. <laughs> if you bring Funko Pops into the list, I get to kick you out. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Okay, and I will let the chat know that Coach has pictures, and I don't have pictures because I, I don't know what I'm doing over here. I should have pulled up Streamlab. Brother, you told me to come here with a top 10 list of I action know. figures, 70s, 80s, and 90s, and there's a caveat to that. Yes. You said it's it has to be something we had. Right, yes. Stuff we had as a so I, 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 I first I said as a, a kid. Presentation. I made a presentation. Man. So I'm ready. You came prepared. I will add my pictures for the 8 o'clock video. So anybody wants to come back. But my, Coach I think you know what all my look like. Uh, <laughs> he said Coach is going to have bendoms. <laughs> I hate bendoms. I love the bendoms for what Man, they I, are. I would for walk right by those in the store. Like, oh. that was... That was not Star Wars back on the back on the shelf, man. No way. Yes, I bought every one. I bought the collector's oh, packs too. I bought would. all the collector's packs. You would. Oh. Now, I was gonna limit to stuff I had as a kid. Uh huh. But being we went to the nineties, I got some more like when I was in my twenties because okay. honestly, I don't know about you. I didn't play. I played with Star Wars, and that was I didn't want anything else. <laughs> so I didn't that's, have much. That's actually. not me. That's not yeah. Me. I, I was, I'll, I'll kind of tell my story as we go through our top 10, but you know, mm -hmm. everything that I've got on my list is, are things that I had and, and treasured. So. Yeah. Um, yeah, I was all, I was all like, I had Nintendo and I didn't want anything else. I've always been like that when I get one thing, but then, I mean, there was a few others after I got out of, out of it. So. Mm -hmm. okay. Well, chat. Thank you all for being here. If anybody is here from Echo Base Network or Coach's Archives, thank you. Subscribe to that junk man. Subscribe to us. Both of us. Okay, yeah. let me just do one more thing because you told me something I want to try. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to say what it is. It's oh. our secret. Me and oh, you got a secret. Pinky, pinky swear. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna, okay, I just did that. I'm going to do it again in a few minutes. Okay, I well. Just my camera out. You were like. You Am I zoomed like, out too far? No, it's like, but my head looks enormous right now because of you. You got a big head. You like, want me to come oh, closer? I I, I, no, no, no. It's okay. I'll, <laughs> here. Here. I will. Uh, here. Is that better? There we go. There we go. Oh, wait, wait, I, li I like that your chin was her mouth. <laughs> you're you you're asking right. for trouble. You know that, right? I hope so. I wish I wish she would. All right, I, I think we're pretty comparable now. All right. Now your monitor's more in front. See, when I look at you, I have to turn my head and I hate that. I wish I could have my monitor. I know we're getting technical here. People don't care about this, but I wish I could look straight ahead. And uh what kind of camera do you use? I, I know people didn't come here for this, but um I have a Sony A sixty four hundred. Yeah, that's what I have. It's a good camera. It's good for live stream. That is not what you have. I got a Sony 6400. I am shocked. Why? You think I got no money? <laughs> it is expensive, bro. It, well, it's a $1,000 camera. Yeah, yeah. And thanks to Patreon and thanks to YouTube, I got it. Yeah. Because John Campia told me to get it. That's That's... I mean, I heard, I saw that video too. Yeah. I mean, I was looking, it wasn't just him, but I was looking at other people's yeah. and that, that was, one came up a lot. It was when I bought it, it was the number one podcasting camera on the market. So, and I love it. Like it, I, 
it'll be a long time before I upgrade. Like it, it, yeah. it gets it done. I like it. I would love to have the money to have two, so I can have two different angles. But I ain't, I ain't now, that good yet. Now this is what you need. I know. You know, I got the Yeti. I got the cheap Yeti. I know it's not cheap. I mean, it's one hundred twenty-five. I mean, it's, it's, far, it's like the cheapest good one you this can get. Is, this is twice the price, but it is a much better microphone. Now, how does that plug in though? Is it USB? Or you so got to buy the other thing? The, the sure, the sure MB seven is USB. You can see it. It's USB. Oh, yeah. Okay. And XLR. Okay. Uh, I don't have all that. The M the MB seven X is just XLR, so you don't want to buy that. I had the Big Daddy SM seven B from Sure. Yeah. And I like this one better. So I actually sold mine on eBay last week. Uh -huh. Okay, we got a super sticker. Yes, from Gary. All Thank right, you, Gary. We got a super sticker. Jerry, you're the man. Thank you. He is, but uh, um, yeah, yeah it's very nice. I, I've seen Jerry and Chad a lot. The last okay, well, good. But thanks for the super sticker. We got we're, Johnson's always good with the channel here. But uh, okay, so we're gonna do the top ten action figures. Yeah, that we had. Yes. Um, from seventies. You were even born in the seventies. Yes, I was. Three months. Uh, three months. Okay, I did. <laughs> I barely made it. Okay, well, you barely got it. I don't think you had any toys. I wouldn't you may have some weeble wobbles. I don't even know what those are. You don't <laughs> you really don't know what weeble wobbles are? Mm -mm. Weeble wobbles. They wobble but they don't fall down. You can say it over and over. I don't know what it is. I just can't believe have you heard of them? Well, they actually call weebles, but we call them weeble I, wobbles. I don't remember. I, I'd have oh to my god, that. I'm shocked! I'm actually, well, why don't you turn around and grab one? Don't have one. Well, look at that. How about that? I would like to have. At least I don't one. have a weeble wobble, and neither do you. No, I got it. Okay, well, maybe I made it up. <laughs> I just can't. I thought everybody knew what a weeble wobble was. It's in the chat. Let me know if they know what I a think weeble you got wobble. Me is. About seven years, don't you? Yeah, probably. I was born. Yeah, because I was born in '72. Uh, okay, yeah, you seven so, years. Yeah, so I got some '70s toys on here. So uh, you want to start your ten? Let me pull yours up since you got the picture. You're, you're the boss. Okay. So, you, so, so, ladies and gentlemen, my number ten toy that I had action figure. Okay, action figure that I actually owned right here, number ten. Hmm. That's gonna be. I know what you're thinking. Masters of the Universe is number 10? Yes. Yeah, I was. Yeah, I was. I was man, yes. it, it, it is number 10. Mm. Uh, and, you know, I had, I didn't have all of these figures, but I had so many of these. Yes. The Sorceress. I had yeah. three different versions of Skeletor. Every He-Man mm. that I could possibly get. My favorite one was, I, I think his name is Roboto. He's clear. with. The yes, gear. I love him. Yes. Yeah. He had yeah, the he, gadgets inside, the gears he, when you turned him. He could change hands. He was yes. kind of like He-Man's version of the Bat in G.I. Joe. Uh, yes. But yeah, the, uh, the figures were really good. They came with you know a lot of accessories, a lot of different accessories. And uh, man, I, I used to go to battle with them. They, they were fun. Yes, I had. I was forced out of Star Wars because Christmas, my mom, well, Santa Claus got me nothing but He-Man. Uh -huh. So that's when I went from Jedi to He-Man. It's probably about a year, or two years. Had everything. I had Snake Mountain. I had Castle Grayskull. I had yes uh, the Hordak Castle thing with the glove on it. I can't remember the name mm -hmm. of it. Mm -hmm. I know. Uh, I had all the figures. Probably like the first one through four series. Uh, King Ralph. I didn't have him. Sorcerers. And I think I was out by then. I like the uh, who's the Skull guy? Not not Skeletor. S Scaregor. Uh, yes, I didn't know about him until I was an adult. I was like, man, I wish I had that as a kid. Yeah, I didn't know about him either. And and then then I found out how much he was worth. Yeah. Michael, Michael Cash is yeah, he's on Scareglow down there in cat in a uh, chat. Um I had yeah. you know, I had Snake Mountain and, and Gray Skull and a lot of those as well. I remember when I was like six or seven years old, my closet door was open to my bedroom and I opened my eyes in the middle of the night. And I saw in the dark, um, uh, Snake Mountain, and the eyes are glowing, looking at me, and huh. it scared the crap out of me, dude. And and after that moment, 
I didn't hardly play with that toy. Like it, it really? freaked me out. Yeah, it freaked me out. But anyways, yeah, my number ten is definitely Masters of the Universe. Yeah, I love I love the uh was it Snake Mountain that had the thing you talk in and it changed your voice? It did. I love, did. That. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. It had like this high pitchy echo kind of sound. Yeah. To it. Yeah. And you could shake it and it sounded like thunder. I don't, I don't know why I like doing that. Uh, now, if I remove you, it's not going to start you over if I hit remove, is it? Nope. Nope. Okay. I'm going to remove you. I do mine. Although, oh, I didn't mean to remove you. I didn't mean to remove you. <laughs> you first go. day, first day messed up. You're learning. You're learning. Okay. Now, like I said, I don't have a picture. I'm not fancy. So I'm going to add this in at eight o'clock. Uh, next time I'll be ready. I hope to do it No right. picture to go. Oh, I'm winning, y'all. Yeah, he is on, winning. Based on the prep work here, I'm winning already. All right, I, I got the picture. I got a picture. It just won't load. I don't know why. Oh, hold on. I know what I'll do. Hold on, just a second. Sorry. I'll edit all this out so I can look like a professional and coach will look bad. Ladies and gentlemen, your junk man was not prepared. That was not, but here is, uh, what the heck, it's not even showing on the screen. If um, you were here in chat while he's doing that and we have not heard from you, drop us a comment. Let us know you're here. Why ain't it showing on share the screen either? God, I suck. <laughs> okay, hold on. Hold on, because you got to see this one. You're gonna be like, yeah, you You probably like one Gumby. more thing. Probably Gumby or something. <laughs> what is this ad item? Let me see what this is. What up, Andrew? Ad camera slot. What does that mean? I don't know what I'm doing. Show it in stream lad. Okay. One more thing. Share screen. I don't understand. What is this? While you're loading. What is that? Wow, that is weird. <laughs> Michael Cash, Michael you're Cash, absolutely you're right. right. Uh, as far as I know, Eternia is probably the most valuable. And oh. probably the coolest toy. Yes. I would have loved that as a kid, but I didn't. I was out of it by the time that came out for sure. Now they they made some UK exclusive figures that were like really big monsters. I can't remember their names. Hey, pup. Oh, you. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Um, did you get into the newer He Man? No. Yeah, I did. Those figures, like, I like it. You can't restart He Man. You know. No. And and when He Man went cold, it died. You know, it that franchise fell off a cliff, man. Um, yeah, it when, fell when off. They tried when they tried to bring it back with Bo and this new skinny He Man. <laughs> yeah, it and, just didn't work. Uh, no, it did. It didn't do it. And was he in space or something? Well, I know he's always in space, but I think he was in not on the planet. I think he did some space stuff or something to try to make him cool to the kids. It's kind of like when GI Joe did it. You know, after G.I. Joe the movie, they they had one final season. It was horrible. It, <laughs> production wise, it was the same company that was making that was making it, different voice actors and it was just bad. Yeah. Now uh did you watch the cartoon? He man, Mesh of the Universe, yeah. I oh, couldn't wait to get home. Every day I came on at like 3.15. <laughs> oh, I love it. It's pretty cheesy now, but I, I mean, a school got out at three three o'clock and he came at like two forty five and he came on at three. Man, it was fastest run home I could get. Dude, He Man was so synonymous with the eighties with Sylvester Stallone uh, and Arnold and the muscle bound action. Uh, you know, heroes in yes. cinema. Perfect. A top ten best cartoons of the eighties would be a good one to do. Well, I'm down. I will thrash yeah. you. <laughs> I don't know. I would have cheap monks on the list. Oh, that's wrong, dude. That's wrong. <laughs> love the chick monks. Come on. Oh, Theodore. Okay. okay, here's my number 10. I know how to share it now. I know what I was doing wrong. All right. What didn't take here's my number 10? Oh, here we go. Number 10, Jumpman. The Dukes of Hazard. 
You're in Alabama. What are you shaking your head for? You're in Alabama. So oh, I had the general lead. The top opened up because you couldn't open the door. So the man, top I opened, bet, put them in there. I bet you broke that car. Oh, it jumped over every ramp. Every, I would get a checkerboard, fold it, make a ramp out of it, and sling it down the yeah. steps. And hey, as it went down the steps, I would say, yeehaw! Hey, dude, Boss Hog is worth some serious money today, if you could find him in good condition. Yes. Yeah, he is. I, I only have Bo and Luke, and I still got a boat. Somebody sent me a boat over there. Boat is Bo the blackhead oh. one? I'm not sure. Now yeah. I'm looking bad. He is. <laughs> okay, so, good. so I actually had that, believe it or not. Oh, see, so you uh, had it too. Okay, I had the, it, did, it. Did it, it? Did it make my top ten? I don't know. It might be your number one. Why are you shaking your head? I guarantee you, it's not my number one. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't like the figure. I don't like the rubber band figures. Even as a kid, so uh, because they'd get real loose and they wouldn't stand up or anything. But I had yeah. so much fun putting them in that car. It was kind of like a crash test dummy for me because I would put them in the car and just sling it against the wall. Oh. Well, my biggest gripe about the toy line is that Daisy Duke is not screen accurate. <laughs> no, nah, she doesn't got some Daisy Duke on. Just doesn't look as good. Doesn't look as good. Uh, okay, well that was my number number ten. Did you watch the Dukes of Hazzard? Yes, absolutely. This show still holds up today, honestly. I want to see it. It's not yep, only. Your boys are at it again. What's going to happen on the next one? <laughs> I love it. I loved it. I loved it as a kid. I'm, that's why I sound scared it's not going to hold up, but we'll see. Uh, let's do your number nine. Number nine. Oh, it's on fire, so you know it's This good. is going to be a good one. Are you ready? Good one. Yeah. Coach, number nine. The Playmates Ninja Turtles line only series one only okay. now you, you gotta explain I, why only series one because i didn't like like the series one line with the four original turtles with april with shredder with splinter with the foot soldier that was an iconic line lineup uh and then they they extended series one to involve krang bebop and rocksteady and i think those were the 11 but they were great toys. Now, there were so many episodes of Ninja Turtles, and hmm. it got wild, man, with like pandas and raccoons and crap, and like, <laughs> and I'm like, no, nah, I'm I'm sticking with hmm. the main characters. That's not a toy line where I was I was like, I have to get them all. I never felt that way. But having the complete series one and being able to sit and play. This these yeah. came out when I believe I was in the second grade, so I was still playing with toys a little bit, and uh, and I, I really did love them though. Now, I'm gonna be honest. one of my gripes is like the like the throwing stars were so little you could lose. Uh, I've seen would, them, yeah. Would, uh, man, you would lose that stuff so easy. What well, were they on? Like you had to tear them off of. You, you got them all. Uh, they were all on like a plastic. Yeah, I hated uh, Playmates like a, did that. Like a box, and you had to tear them off. Yeah. Yeah. Playmates did a few like that. But I'm going to be honest yeah. with you. I've never seen the Ninja Turtles cartoon. I've never seen a Ninja Turtles movie. Oh, I've dude. never had a Ninja Turtle. When I was in the fifth grade, the first thing we did when we got up was, and this is all the boys at my school, we all got like a shower as quickly as possible and ate breakfast and would sit down in front of the TV and we got to watch one episode of Ninja Turtles from 7 to 7.30, and then it was time to get in the car and go to school. And and when we got right. to school, we would all get to the gym and sit in our holding place. What do you think we were talking about? Ninja the Turtles. Ninja Turtles episode. The, the episode we all <laughs> just watched. It was a it was great, man. It was great mornings. I think this is where the age comes in, because I think it came out, what, 87 probably? 87, 88. And I was out of cartoons and back then, you know, that's when I, I went from toys to cartoons to girls and then back to toys to cartoons in the 90s. So, so uh, and either, either you're doing a great mannequin impression or you're froze. Okay, you're back now. <laughs> oh, sorry. You froze, but you're good now. But yeah, I, I never, I know one's going to be on your list. It's also something else I've never seen before. There you go. Now that's where you're going to have O face. There you go. <laughs> but uh, okay, let me. Get mine ready now that I know what I'm doing. Okay, y'all don't laugh at this one. It's better than Ninja Turtles, though. I doubt it. I get it ready. Your number nine ain't better than my number nine. Oh, yes, it is. The chat will agree. Although, I'm probably going to get 
Why is this so high on your this, list? This is your sandbox. So. Now, this I didn't play with as a kid, but I loved it anyway. All right. Power of the Force 2, 1995. Dude. Star Wars line. That's... I know they're big and they're bulky, <laughs> but nothing. I didn't spend my money on nothing more in the 90s, I don't think. Wait, what? I see people unsubscribing. You're nervous. <laughs> oh, wait, why didn't we go to 45 viewers to 30? What happened? Bro, you like the Masters of the Universe Star Wars line? That's wild. Everybody loves no, this line. Look, look I'm going to be honest with you, man. Like, when, when 1997 rolled around and these figures started popping up on the shelves again, it yeah. was the first time we'd actually had three and three-fourth inch Star Wars figures on the shelves since 85. So it yeah. was a great moment. Me and Nick would go up to Walmart at 2 a.m. to get oh, the yeah. Leia because there would be one Leia in each box, and that yeah. Leia was going for 50 bucks. That ugly monkey so, face Leia. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it was. Yeah, me and, me and my friend Russ, we were uh, – and we would, hey, we were calling stores. We were going everywhere we could to make sure to see if they had. Look, uh, so somebody things. told me, and look, I see what um, Darth Wizzy Wizard said. This line was such a big disservice to Star Wars fans. Sam Jimenez, I got these gathering dust now. You couldn't give these away for years. And the no. only the only one that I wish I still had, and one, it's on my it's on my bucket list. It's on my reacquire list. Yeah, is is the Luke Skywalker special edition figure that you got at the movie? Oh yeah, I did a video. I didn't have him. My friend Russ went and got one. And didn't get me one. I mean, I, it's the I same figure as the card. It is it's the it, same thing, but the card back's different, son. It's got a sticker on it. Yeah, <laughs> you should be able to pick it up pretty cheap. Though, I would think. I don't know. I hadn't looked in a while. You, if you look hard, if you're impatient, you could get it for twenty five bucks. Yeah, the only problem with those two, the glue on the bubble's really bad. I've heard. So a lot of them fell off. The I've seen card. many of them with a detached bubble. You're absolutely right. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> 90, when they hit they 95, they were the, I mean, they, every toy collector had, was into Star Wars toys. They had some, some really cool variants on this toy line. Do you remember like long set yes. sabers versus short sabers? I mean, we uh, had a bunch of Boba them. Yeah. Fett with the full circle versus half the half circle. circle. Yeah. And then with the Boba Fett on the card bag, it had 0, 0. 0.1 or 0, 0. 0.2, and people were really going for it. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. I don't remember that, but I don't know. Uh, long saber, short saber, and then you had the Jedi Luke brown vest and a black vest. Yes. Yes. Um, yeah, and like you said, Leia was really hard to find at the time. Mm -hmm. So it was just a lot of fun collecting those figures. And it might not have been fun. I mean, they might not look great, but we didn't care. I don't remember anybody even complaining really about them. Well, I'll tell you one thing that, that – and I know we're talking action figures, but one thing that the toy line did right was the play sets and vehicles were great. Yes. They did the, they did those right. You go get that X-Wing or that ATAT. -AT, they were phenomenal. Well, I will the, say something bad because they used the same mold as Kenner. Mm -hmm. So like Han and Chewie wouldn't hardly fit in the Falcon. Okay. That's true. Yeah. That's so they absolutely too wide. True. Yeah. Yep. But other than that, they look, they were updated from the ones we had as a kid, so they were yeah good because the mold was the same, but then they had updated features and everything. Okay, you ready oh, to go? Yeah, you ready to go again? I'm ready. I can't do All this. right, coach number, number eight. eight. You ready? You ready? Yes. My list just gets better. I don't know about yours. Here we go. Number be. eight. Muscles. Muscles. Son. Muscles. Man, they were, they were they want to be erasers. Those aren't action figures. When when they when they came out with different colors too, man, oh. I had to have them all. I had muscles. to have them all. I would get big packs with like tons of muscles in there. So mm -hmm. me and my cousins used to have some serious battles with them. Uh, I can't, I can't, yeah. I feel like I can't say much about this. I remember them. But I didn't know what you did with them. I didn't know what you did with them. I just thought they looked like bubblegum machine toys. <laughs> <laughs> I, I loved them, dude. Like they were like like think about it. Muscles are my number eight. Masters of the Universe is my number ten. Okay. Like uh, I loved me some muscles. <laughs> you love yeah, but so you've got to have the 90 Star Wars on here. They had so, muscles. So the muscles also had a boxing ring, and you and there was like a little holder 
for each figure on both sides. And you, it was kind of like rock'em sock'em robot, but you were doing yeah. it with muscles, man. It was so much fun. Now, now what did you, you got, it came in a pack of more than one, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. There's tons. What do you do with them? Just make them fight each other. I couldn't ever figure out what they were. Yep. <laughs> well, their arms don't move. So it's yeah, like, they, didn't look like they were fun. Like you, you just threw them at each other. Yeah. Uh, they were a lot of fun. And, and there were, there are a lot that came out later on that are yeah. very hard to find today. Like there are some standalone muscle figures that sell for upwards of $600. Just the figure, okay. just, just the, just the one figure. Can you believe mm. that? God, now, I wouldn't, uh, to be, to be fair, I wouldn't know them if they knocked on my door and said hi to me. I, <laughs> you know, I, I wouldn't have any idea, but, uh, but I loved muscles. Well, if a muscle ever comes to your house and knock on the door, let me know. Cause... Dude, Darth Wizzy Wizard guts almost made my list, bro. That that would be my good. first that would be my first honorable mention. It's so crazy that you just mentioned those. I might have Guts, to see them. I Guts don't know. came in like you bought a team, like a pack, and it had like eight or ten. I can't remember. I think it might have been ten figures, and like mm. one was like the Army Rangers, one was like the futuristic <sighs> laser shooters, one was ninjas, one was Green Beret. Like man, they were freaking awesome. And if you bought two, mm. you had a you had a war. Right there, so it's really cool. I'm gonna have to see that. I have to look it up later. Guts. They, came out, around, they okay. came out around '88, okay. so I think it was Mattel. Okay, I don't remember that. Yeah, I can't. I can't really add much to muscles because I saw them and uh. Well, you don't have like, any. what is this crap? <laughs> but someone says you, you kill them. You, you don't. You don't have any. Never mind. Muscles. I don't have no muscle toys or on my body. <laughs> so, no, I never did. Okay. Now, I'm going to win back the chat with this one. You ready for me to win back the chat? You need to. I'm pulling for you. I'm pulling for you. Number eight. Dun, 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 dun. Superman. Good oh, choice. well, superpowers, I should say. Superman. <laughs> Superman. Super, superpowers. Now, I'm going to be I yeah. didn't have them all. I only had a like three of them, but I love playing with the Batman, the Superman, and I had uh, Robin. I wish I had them all, but they were a lot of fun. I love you know, Superpowers line. I got to tell you that, so if you have this, I'm, it's it's fair to reason that you have um, Marvel as well. Uh, I, what? Um, oh, my gosh. Uh, God, now I've forgotten. So, uh, Secret Wars? Yes. Yeah. These figures are better than Secret Wars. Yes. I only, had, I only had Spider-Man was the only one I had for Secret yeah. Wars. I had, well, I had a lot of them. I had the black Spider-Man and, and the regular Spider-Man and everything. But these figures were extremely well done for DC. So that's a great addition. The yes. Batman, man, everybody had that freaking Batman, dude. You had to have yeah, that. Yeah, you had to have that Batman. And they, you squeeze their legs and they run. Yeah. Or do something different. I can't remember what they all did, but. And actually, and, I have about 10 of them over here in the junk room now that I've got. And it, again, I know we're talking figures, but, man, that Batmobile was freaking dope. I never had it. My friend next door had Batmobile, and I wanted Having it. So Batman bad. and Robin in that thing? Yes. Oh, man. I tried to trade in my General Lee for it one time, and he wouldn't do it. Yeah. Now, I agree with Rick Taylor. I've always been more Marvel than DC. Uh, but really? the toys... Secret Wars weren't as good of a line lineup, yeah. Uh, in terms of a toy, for me, for me. But but I agree with you, Rick. All right. So yeah, yeah. Good. Hey, that was a good one. You you want some points back on that? Yeah, one. Yeah, I got some points back. We can't do a poll on Streamyard, can we? Yeah, you can. You, you well, you. So probably not my free account. So the way you do a poll is you have to go into your YouTube Studio on your live stream. Uh, okay. We can we can do that we could do that when we're done if you want to. Yeah, we can do a whole who won. Yeah, we'll we'll do a poll. Who had the best list? Yep. Okay. Let's hold on. Let me try to guess your number seven. Let me try to guess your number seven. It's gonna have muscles. Mm. It does. Absolutely. Gonna have muscles. Uh, Hold on a second. I think it might shock you. Okay, I'm not gonna guess. I was gonna guess your number one, but I don't want to spoil it. I think I know what your number one is. Uh, um, I mean, Chunk Man, if you don't know my number one, I don't know if we're even friends. 
<laughs> yeah, I was. I'll, I'll wait till we get there. I was going to say something. I'll wait till we get there. Okay. Number seven from Coach. So this is the, you're going to laugh. This is the very end of my, the, I was actually more collecting than playing with the toys because I was at the, this is the mm. last toy as a, as a pre 16 year old I ever bought. Okay. Ooh, 13, yeah. 14, 15 years old. I was buying these cause I loved them and I loved the show. So my number seven is X-Men from Toy oh, Mine was almost on the list. I took it off. Yeah. I took it that off the Wolverine list. figure that you see right there is one of yes. my favorite action figures of all time. I didn't even know who Deadpool was the first time I saw his action figure. Yeah, I didn't know who half of them was. I and that them. was one of the coolest. And look, look at Cyclops. Look yeah, at Cyclops Beast. Cool. Yeah. They are extremely well done. And one of my favorite figures, I've got him back there, is Iceman. This ice man oh, wow. right here, so good, man. Like I love the clear ice man, not the blue one, the clear one. I liked them. I loved them both. Well, I like them I, both. I like have you seen the new ice man that's coming out? Like the big one that they revealed? I've no, seen uh, your picture of that. Yeah. Okay. It looks pretty cool. But uh I've talked about it before. You might have heard. But I was this is when I was getting into collecting. When X-Men mm -hmm. hit. And man, I worked at Toys R Us. And that Ice Man was so rare. It was one per case. Everybody wanted him. I had so many hoarded in the back. I bought me one, my friend Russ, but I would put them on the shit. I would give them to somebody that asked for it. But I didn't want some kid buying it because I knew a collector wanted it. So I was wow. like the goat. The comic book store guy knew me and he would say, Go to Toys Us. This guy working to get you an X Man. <laughs> so I was and like, they, a, I was like the drug before, dealer. For this is before you were that junk man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was like the Ice Man. <laughs> I was like, I was like the drug dealer Ice Man. <laughs> that is I still have that figure. I'm like, I love that figure so much. But uh, yeah, that was gonna be that was on my list, and I edited it around and took it off. And I hey, man, Saturday Saturday off. mornings, and I was 14 years old. Watching X Men was a must. I would call Nick to make sure he was awake, and then as, as soon as the episode started, we're like, all right, we'll call you when it's over. And we'd hang up, and then I'd call him as soon as it ended. And we'd be like, man, did you see Omega Red and Wolverine? You know, and whatever. Like, so good. See, I never even watched the cartoon. Dude, the figures look, not all of them, but so many of them look exactly like the cartoon. And I'm going to tell you. Yeah, they look uh, good. With, with X-Men 97 coming out, I'm, I'm not very hopeful that the show's going to be great. I hope it is. I mean, you know, but with Disney being in control, I, you know, I, I, I don't know. I gotta be, I gotta have my speculation there, but give us some action figures and, uh, and I will definitely be looking. Yeah. Yeah. They look good. Um, yeah. I don't know who's doing that new, uh, ice man. I'll just show you that. Cause it is clear and everything. It looks kind of hey, like the chat liked the chat's digging my X-Men dude. I'm just telling you. Yeah. Your X-Men was a good one. Oh. So I, I'll give you that one. I'll give you that one. But like, I, and it was the first one that was aimed toward, well, not aimed to collectors, but they appealed to collectors because they had like KB exclusive Wolverine, true, and stuff true. like that. So yep. it was right there when the collector market was starting to hit. Um. Okay, let me pull it. now. The up now this one you're you, you don't know this one. You you didn't play with this toy line. <laughs> We're going way back with this one. So let me. Let me, add. Let me guess. Some dag Buck Rogers or some crap. <laughs> Buck Rogers ain't crap, but no, it's not Buck Rogers. It's before Buck Rogers. Uh, wait, the, the cowboy and Indian. Uh, <laughs> what are they called? Uh, the cowboy with the mask on. Lone Ranger? No. Yeah, yeah. Lone <laughs> it's Ranger. Not that old, but, but this this is 70s. This is true 70s TV show action figure line. So let me let me share it. My brother had it, and I played with it so much. The Six Million Dollar Man. What a great line. Bigfoot. He had Andre the Giant Bigfoot figure. You pop his chest off, and it showed he was a robot. Came with these capsules you could put him in for a spaceship. Uh, different arms. You could buy a bag of legs for him. You could just buy legs and put on him. It was awesome. Uh, it had a little peep where you could look through the eye, kind of like the Boba Fett 12-inch. It was just awesome. Now, my brother played with it, and when he wouldn't play with it, I got to play with it. And I loved his skin was like a real rubbery figure. And I like just pull it and play with it. It was just so odd. And being that, that it was like rubber, it would get dirty more than the other figure. So it always looked real, real bad. But 
Hopefully, someone in the chat. I, now, I'm guessing you were a little too uh, too young. I was too young. This is before my time. But yeah. but I actually have had the Bigfoot as a collector. Um, I it it was in a collection that Ooh, I bought. I, I like sold it. I, I sold it. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Uh, but I did have it and I knew how cool it was. You know, I was like, wow, I got Bigfoot, you know? Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, now I, I never watched the show. Now uh, they never, they never show reruns of it much. Like I didn't ever see it in the eighties. So it didn't, but, uh, Megatron, he was the bad guy. He can't, you could put a Oscar Goldman face on him or a $6 million man face or a robot face. And then you have Fembot. That was a robot, a female robot. Oh, what a great line. I'm sure the chat's blowing up how great this line was. Let's see here. Not really. Huh? Power That's Bob Mayor. There we go. What's up, Power, Power Bob. Bob? Good to see you. Yeah. So there we go. Let's look at another one here. The TV show was great. Yes. Yes, it was. Yeah, Maskatron. Right. I love Maskatron. Let me pull that up. So I got to pull up the ones that are in my favor. Maskatron. There you go. There you go. He is great good. figure. But, uh, that, was a, that was a good pick. That was a good pick. I'm That's at a good. disadvantage there. but Yes. You know. If you put the X Men Toy Biz on your list, it would be kind of weird because you'd have been you'd have been twenty. <laughs> well, I put I put the, there's some twenty eight there's some ninety stuff on there. <laughs> All right, all right. <laughs> My number six. One, I remember the day this show came out. Mm. There had been premiere or there had been commercials leading up to it, leading up to it, leading up to it. Finally, I'm at my grandmother's house after school. I was there every day. It was my holding cell until my mom got <laughs> got to come pick me up. So me and my cousin are sitting there. Finally, we get to watch day one, and I love the action figure line. Ladies and gentlemen, LJN Thundercats. Let's freaking go. Look at, look at that Jaga. Look at that Panthro. Look at that Chitara. <laughs> look at that lion -O. And they had the battery pack where you would – stick it into his back and Lino's eyes would light up red man that was one heck of an action figure lineup and you're just getting a glimpse there there's so many more he hated hated this cartoon hated this line oh, because i thought it was great. a he-man ripoff and i i never gave it a chance i just saw it and it said oh it wants to be he-man and i get mad at it and i didn't like the names of them Mm. I, I still to this day can't say the name of Mofo, but mm. <sighs> what year would that have came out? Do you know? 85. Yeah. That's about the time I'd have been screaming. He man ripoff. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah. I didn't have any, I'm sure the chat did. I, I heard a lot of people talk about it, but look, one of my uh, all time favorite moments, and this is the one toy that I would have bought. I looked for it last year at icon. I looked for it this year at icon. I have not been able to find it at an affordable price for me. I want the actual play sword, mm. the the sword of omens from LJN. Mm, that's hard to I, find. Yeah, I had it. It has the light up eye of Thundera and everything. I had it as a kid. Uh, I don't have it anymore. I would love. I remember the day my mom bought that for me. But anyways, I would have loved to have seen a twelve year old coach in Alabama running around with his sword. Oh yeah, <laughs> I would have. <laughs> yeah, but them Alabama people was like, that boy ain't right. <laughs> I'm Lionel, whatever his name. What's his name? Lionel? Lino. Lionel. Okay, that sounds better than Lionel. Hey, I used to have sword battles. I had my sword of omens in the front yeah. yard, and my friend down the street, he had Voltron sword. Oh, Voltron the, sword. I remember the that. Blazing yeah. sword. Yeah. So we would sit there and fight. Man, it was mm. awesome. Uh, he says this. I don't know. Every time I hear LG, I think of Angry Nerd. Yeah, I think of that too. And I was like, if I ever got to be popular and have a guest, I would love for me and him to do a toy lga lgan video series because they make some good hey, james rolf will talk to you through I email and stuff but he does not guest on no. shows. yeah i never see him on yeah no um let me see here yeah i heard he was a good guy but i ain't never talked he to seems him. like a very good guy um people in alabama say coach is not right i, th I didn't say that that's uh, it's true I, it's probably. true uh, he probably had his underoos on his lion, his lion, whatever his name is. Under Lion O. Um, lion O. He has Lion O. Yo, Lion O. Okay. He had his underoos on running around with his sword. Uh, okay. Let me see my list here. Ooh. 
We're going to go to one I didn't play with, but I did collect. I did buy. I went crazy for it. And a lot of people hate this line. So I might, I might lose some people again. I mean, I lost you. Okay. <sighs> Let's see here. I'm scared to pull this one up. People say they look bad. I like them. Are you ready? It's Kenner. So you know it's going to be on my list. Here it goes. Kenner's. Aliens line. Who didn't love this line? I'll, okay, it doesn't look like the figure, but what? Put your hand down. <laughs> this was a great line. The alien. I should have pulled up a picture of the aliens because that was the best of the line. But I like the bishop. I know it looked nothing like bishop from the movie, but it looked awesome. You could take it apart. You had all the uh, aliens, and they had the the bubble like an egg. Came with a comic book. I don't know how anyone couldn't love that line. It was. Awesome. Now, you have the power loader too for oh now if you had the original original Kenner alien. Well, that's not fun. It's only one. You can really so what? It, if that was on your list, I'd be like, Yeah. It's nineteen ninety four crap. Oh, it's also no. fine. No. You can get a uh, repainted today at Walmart for like two dollars. I got am gonna have to me the bowl. Uh, I gotta tell you, it was a really weird time for there to be aliens toys yeah. on aisles. Yeah, you know, a was, movie that was 10 years old at the time. It was yeah. just weird. Uh, and the best was the Alien 2 pack that came with a Predator because it was the one that looked like Alien from the movie, and that was awesome. The Predator line Predator line could have been on here, but they just did Predator. They didn't have anything to go with it. Yeah, uh, yeah but, but dude, yeah. seriously, if you put the 79 Kenner Alien action figure... If I had it, it as a kid, I would have. Yeah, I, I've never owned it, and I've oh, I would absolutely take it and put it on my shelf. No, I got one over here. I found it at an antique store for twenty dollars. Yeah, you showed me. Uh, okay. yeah, it's missing the dome, and the arms broke. But twenty dollars, am I going to complain about that? If like, you look hard enough, you can replace those parts. Yeah, yeah, but it looks cool sitting up on display anyway. So, mm -hmm. are we starting the top five? Top five. This is where things get crazy. This is where you pull your aliens up, right? So this is where I think maybe our toys... The, one of two things are going to happen here. Either we're going to have a lot of the same things here, or I'm going to smoke you. <laughs> I thought we were going to have to say number one. I almost made a rule. I'll tell you later, because I was scared we had to okay. say number one. All right. and I almost made a rule that we weren't going to put this toy on the, on right. the whole list. <laughs> so my number five is going to shock you. Oh, really? My number five. Ooh, let's see then. Man. See if you can shock junk, man. I doubt that. Boy, Unless you do boy, Golden Girl. Boy, did I love these action figures. Alien Wood, Spurs. fire, water, Battle Beast. Let's freaking go, dude. Now, I'm surprised that one. Battle oh, Beast. Man, I had 50 of them. I think, they, I think they came out with 76 different ones before the laser versions. But uh, I absolutely man. love these great like sculptures like they were yeah, they so good. much fun you rub that hologram in the middle to see what they were uh i bought a collection from somebody a, a few years ago i had no idea there was this tin container at the bottom of this big huge box i just been getting all this stuff out yeah I, the tin container i have no clue what's inside i open it up and it's like 50 battle beast with their weapons and i was like oh my god gosh like it was crazy hmm. so I, I love this action figure this is a very underrated action figure yeah i line. forgot i forgot about it till you brought it up and i was like oh i would man yeah i forgot and all about those bro they are so expensive today if you find Howdy. one mint on card holy crap get ready hmm. three four hundred dollars well they a little bit of the most i used to go to hills and they had eight packs so eight there'd packs. be eight in one Oof. Yeah, man, I never had them, but I, I mirror them at the store and everything. Well, you know what year they started? Eighty-seven, I believe. Yeah, so I was, I was out of it, but I was still looking at the stores. But now, what did they do? They shot stuff, right? They literally moved their arms like this, <laughs> okay. and that was it. That was I think it. you like mini stuff that fight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I thought they shot something off, but I was wrong. Mm -hmm. But. Yeah, that's I says the chat room says you're on fire. Another home run. Let's go. Let's see, we gotta get a I don't know, we're gonna have coach back next time. Hmm. <laughs> I still I can't believe you laughed at my alien line. Okay. 
Uh, let's see what my number five is. See if I can beat that. Oh, yeah, I'm going to beat that. You ready? To... I might not beat you, but I'm going to beat you on the five and five. I'm going to beat you on the five and five because everybody in the room is going to say, I didn't have it. I didn't have it. <laughs> Okay. I didn't. They're gonna say I didn't even know about it, but I had every one of this t- line. Again, most of yours is based on TV shows, and most of mine are based on movies. I realize that. I don't. I don't know why. I don't know that means anything, but it's something I noticed. Okay. Um, okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. Still popular today. Number five, Kenner's Indiana Jones Raiders of the Lost Ark line. I love. Oh. Love this line. I wish I kept them as a kid. I had the map room. I had all the figures. Well, most of the figures. I didn't have all the, I didn't. I didn't buy Marion. Uh, I had a. <laughs> I think I was missing. How some did of the you other. not buy Marion? My. God. I never saw Marion. I remember looking for Marion. You don't like. Find you it. don't like money. <laughs> I wish. That, I wish I kept them. I wish in the nineties when I was buying the vintage Star Wars stuff, I picked up some Indiana Jones stuff because they were cheap. Dude, you find an Indy oh, with his thumbs still intact today? Oh. You're a lucky man. Yeah, I got one over here with no thumb. Look at, look at those thumbs, son. The thumbs are coming off. <laughs> Luckily, Hasbro's re-released some of these, the retro line. So at least I got those now. But oh, yeah. I got the 12 inch as a kid too. 12 inch Indiana Jones. Yes, it's got a stupid Panama looking hat, that Panama Bear hat. But I loved it. I love playing with these figures. I love the whip. I love the quick draw action. The map room. I didn't have the the street. I know what an odd place it. A street place it. The streets of Cairo. Yeah. yeah, I didn't have that one, but I had the map room and I had the where you put the ark. And that little ark, go ark. I would love to just have the ark again. That was a really good action figure set. That was a, that's a really good choice, bro. That's huh. a really good choice. I thank. You. I'll, give you, I'll give you props for that. Yeah. Oh, I didn't put uh, Temple Doom on here. I almost did because there's only three figures, and I did have them all, but there wasn't much play value with them because there was only three. Well, and the figures weren't. Yeah. That LJN dropped the ball on those. No, yeah, I got a Indiana Jones over here. It looks like an insurance the, salesman. The best thing about the the toy itself is the the packaging. The card backs were great. Yes. I would love to have one on card. Yeah. At least an Indy, because it was like, yeah. yeah, I saw I saw one up there in Nashville, and it was like five hundred dollars. It was on. Oh, I know they gouged you at the events, man. Yeah, and that's they're hard to find on card too, but mm-hmm. uh, but I love that. Uh, a lot of people I talked to said, I don't even remember seeing them when I was a kid. I don't even remember them being in the stores. But yeah, I, sh- I can remember going down the escalator at a Sears, and I guess it was Christmas time because they usually didn't have toys. Getting right. off over by the TV against the wall, they had a whole wall of all the Kenner Indiana Jones stuff. And I was like, right. Mom, there's my Christmas. So, right. so I ran and sat on Santa Claus's lap, and he said, Get out of here. You're 14 years old. Okay. All right. Is, is it all my right. turn? You're at number four. Right. Number four. So, Which, so I. Me and my friend Michael, he's a he's got a YouTube channel too. Oh, French. Um, <laughs> we really love this toy figure line. No, no. In all seriousness, um, oh, you, is that who you're talking about for real? Yeah, I was just. Kidding. Uh, okay. I was. I was just being funny. So <laughs> well, I thought I was being funny. I didn't know. So okay. this toy figure line, I, I have to, uh, I have to tell you the one that I'm actually talking about, uh, but it is. Voltron. And I'm not talking about the Panache Palace uh, figures. I'm talking about the Bandai, you know, Go Go Lion die cast right here that you see on the right side. Like, this is one of the greatest toys uh, of my generation. I'm not even a big big fan of the show, and you loved it. This Voltron 1981 Go Lion from Bandai. Uh, they've re released it multiple times, and this junk man is on my reacquire list. I will have this again. I had the 97 uh re release, yeah, but, but I don't want a re release. I want well, even though is. it looked exact, I want the original, you know. So I'd, um, but yeah, that's definitely my number four. It's a cool looking like you're going to kill me. The chat room is going to kill me. I never even heard of the toy line or the TV show until I was in the nineties. I don't know where, I don't know how I skipped. I don't know how I didn't I know, know how about you it. missed that. I don't Man. know how, I guess I was watching chick monks too much or uh, smurfs, but it looks awesome. And I've, Dude, seen, it, you know, I've seen it. In person. It's a great TV series. And if you will watch it in it's original Japanese, you're talking mm. about like gory, like, some disturbing images really 
cannibalism and people getting their arms ripped off and like but even the the show here when they when it got to the states and yeah they dubbed, they dubbed it such a great show mm. yeah I, somebody mentioned shogun warrior i almost put that on my list it's kind of like that you know more of a seven and uh i'll test your i bet you don't know did you ever watch space giants no no do you know what it is nope <laughs> okay i like to see who didn't know because it was the uh power rangers of the early 80s okay well, actually i think it was in japan in the like 60s early 70s and it came to tbs in the 80s and it's it was good as a kid, but it is horrible to watch now. But it's kind of like Voltron, too. But it's live action. Okay, that was your what, four? That was my number four. Mm, okay, we're going back to the collector years. Because, again, I didn't play with much. I was a one-trick pony. So, But this this really got me back into action figures more than anything. More than the Star Wars. This, this is probably 92. This has got to be Star Trek The Next Generation. No, based from, on from based Gal on a TV Galoob. show, so you got close. It's from Galoob. <laughs> it's from Kenner. Of course. Of course it is. And it is Batman, the animated series figure line. This is an awesome. It could have been number one just because they look so dang good. I agree. Bought all the villains. I bought like doubles of them. The only one I didn't buy was the original Batman. And that's the one that's worth a lot of money today. And I can't get combat, it. Combat belt. Yeah, Batman. combat. Yeah, he was like the normal looking one. And I don't know why they buy him. Oh, and everybody wanted uh, Bane. Bane was yeah. a big one to find. And I can remember going, they had him on pegs on an end cap at Toys Us. And we were looking through and we saw the card for Bane. I couldn't believe it. Yeah. I pulled it off the peg and it was a Batman on a Bane guard. So this is one of my favorite shows of all time. Yes, the show was good. But too. the figures did not make my top 10. I oh. really liked the figures. Don't get oh, okay. me wrong. Okay. I thought you know, just going to bash them. Uh man, when Mask of the Phantasm came out, that yeah. Phantasm figure, it's the girl but the pull down mask yeah. and all that stuff. So awesome, dude. Yeah, I got that. And, all, all I actually up. had the Kenner animated series Batmobile sealed in the box. Oh, uh, that was a cool about, one a, about a year ago and I I turned it loose. No, oh, that's a cool one to have. And then they had the uh, the play. I never got any of this vehicles or the play sets, but uh, just the figures. The villains were so good in that line. How about that Harley Quinn figure, man? No, oh, that's yeah, that that a great figure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, she started on the anime series, and then where she she did kind of hit. Mm -hmm. I thought so. And that oh, that Bane again, but uh, oh, the Two Face looked good. So I can say her name all Penguin. Everybody was crazy about that. Mm -hmm. uh, Okay. You're number right. three. My number three. Um, it was really hard to put this at number three and not number two. Mm -hmm. But but I sat and I thought about it and I thought about it and I finally bit the bullet. I will tell you that there was a couple years in my life that every time my mother took me to Hills, and I would go straight to the toy section by myself, unsupervised. The first figures I would go and look at right here. Transformers. I, I thought that was going to be your number two. No doubt Man. about it. I remember the day I had every Transformer you see in oh. this picture right here. I had I had Devastator. I had Optimus Prime. I had Power Master Optimus Prime. I had Shockwave up there. Got him for Christmas Day, 1987. It snowed outside. All of my neighbors wanted to have a, a outside play gunfight. Mm. I was using my new Shockwave. They were so jealous, dude. The shockwave the gun? Yeah. Oh, I had the gun. That's the only one I had was the like a that P38. Was a great Soundwave, oh, I had all the cassettes. That. Like I and I I will never forget. And, and on my recollecting list is a Bumblebee mint on card. That's mm. uh, of all the ones that I want mint on card. Yeah. Give give me Bumblebee and I'm happy. Like because I, I still remember vividly the day my mother bought that for me. Like really? mom, that's the one I want. I want Bumblebee. Okay. I would Let's love go. that that shockwave. I wonder what it, I bet it goes for a lot, not a lot of money, dude. Even loose. Uh, you could probably get it loose for seventy five to a hundred. Uh, I can really lay in my bed just playing with that thing. Just, and I, I'm gonna shock you again. Never seen one episode of the Transformers. <laughs> I seen a little bit of the Michael Bay movie, and I was like, ugh. 
I never saw the animated movie or the cartoon series. Transformers season three, the return of Optimus Prime, two part series, the greatest yeah. moment in cartoon history. When Skylinks says, Our leader is back. And then Optimus Prime stands up back from the dead and he says, Yes, Skylinks. And this time, no force in the universe can stop me. Mm. I still get chill bumps today, brother. Is that as good as the time Happy Smurf found a mirror and he saw the plan for, for the takeover of the Smurf village by Azrael? <laughs> Probably not. Oh, okay. I <laughs> think so. I, I need to. I don't know why Transformers just. I mean, I had the Shockwave and I remember the Optimus Prime wanting it. But I don't know why I just. I never watched. It must have came on the same time He Man came on or something in my area because everybody else was into it. But I wasn't. So long story short, I fell off a roof in 1988 and landed on my oh. head on, on concrete, and they had to med flight me to a to a hospital. Oof. Oh, you're laughing. It, it, it was it was it was bad. It was bad. Okay. But <laughs> when I when I regained consciousness a couple of days later, my mother asked me. Uh, your uncle is going to Toys R Us. Is there anything you want? Mm -hmm. And I said, yes, mother. She said, what? I said, I want Power Master Optimus Prime. <laughs> and, you know, and you know what? It was worth it. <laughs> you jumped off the roof for it. Be honest. <laughs> you probably asked for it. They said no. And you went in there and jumped off the roof. And like, I'll get it. I'll get it. Oh, that's great. I see. Sure. Okay. Uh, number three, probably my favorite thing to collect in the nineties. You ready for this? It's not on your list. It should be Star Trek Playmates Next Generation figures. Go ahead and cover your face. This was awesome. I know people, oh, I was looking for low foot numbers. I was buying every one I could. Uh, in fact, I At first, I said, I'm just going to buy a board. And then next thing I know, I had every damn one. I was buying, I didn't even watch Deep Space Nine. I was buying all the figures. I, I got the play sets. I got everything. I love this line. Now you can buy them for about $3 a piece. So I need to go back and get them. But yeah, I this love setting up I, I mentioned this line earlier. Yeah. You, look, you looked the one right before this. When I said it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's, I, I meant that as a joke. <laughs> No, how could you not have this? I don't know how anybody couldn't have this. This will go in the Hall of Fame of action figures. I mean, really. This no, is... no, dude. This is Hall of Shame. This is bad. Hall of what? This is bad. What? You, you like look, Next Generation. Listen, you... I, I love the show. The toys suck. No, how they, they look great. They suck. Other than they when you suck. sit them in a chair, they're bow, they, you know, they're, they split what? their legs up. You took your Picard said, uh, Earl Grey, T, Earl Grey. <laughs> <laughs> is that what you did? Yeah, no. No. Uh, loved them. They were so fun. They made so they made like almost everything you can think of. There were so many of them. Uh, somebody knows somebody's got to show me some love here. Can I recover this stream, please? Can we can we move I on? Did not them? like next year. Hey, it's better than the glue ones. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Okay, hold on. Okay, you're number two. If your number two is not what I if. Oh. Your number two is not. My number two is an easy choice. 1982 through about 1987. Okay. It's G.I. Joe for me all day long. Um, <laughs> never I, got was, I was wrestling. Oh, my God. How could you not get into G.I. Joe? Never he, liked G.I. Joe. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. Dude. Never liked G.I. Joe. Look at, this, look at this Cobra officer right here, dude. I didn't like rubber band figures. Look at this Cobra commander. Look at this Destro. Oh, they look good. I had look a motorcycle this, dude, guy. That's all look I this had. This gung ho right here. I mean, look at this ace, man, bro. These action figures were the best. They were the goat. Like, and I, and again, look, I'm saying it again. Bucket list. I'm gonna reacquire a big. Not all. I don't want all. That's that's part of my problem. When I start collecting, I'm like, <laughs> you know, I gotta have. All of them. Have them. Uh, yes, I no. know what you mean. Mm. Um, I, what didn't the... remove you. I didn't mean to remove you. I you try to get my G.I. Joe off the screen as quickly as possible because you know. Yes. Can I tell you, I've never seen a G.I. Joe cartoon episode. Yeah, that's crazy. 
I, I know it's hard to believe. Do you, I grew up. Do you ever do GI Joe videos? I got a few about. I got one about the gun lawsuit and the Stephen King figure that was made. The one that Stephen King made. You know what you you know what a video you need to do. You need to do a special on the mail away only figures for GI Joe and Transformers. Oh yeah, I might people do would that. love that. People would love yeah. that. Yeah, well, like way. That was the only way you could get William the Refrigerator Perry. That was the only uh, way you could I get Super Trooper. Yeah. That was the only way you could get Lifeline originally. Like, there's so many great figures. Hmm. That was the only way you could get Reflector in Transformers, the camera. No, I might have to look and into that. Man. That People would enjoy that. Yeah, because I've done the Star Wars Melloway figures, which, you know, end up at stores anyway. But mm -hmm. Okay. Um, yeah, I never, like I said, I was so into Star Wars toys. I had friends that had G.I. Joe, and I was like, ugh, Star Wars. Well, yeah. I don't want aliens. I don't want them army men. So. Right. Okay. I, I know it was just me. Everybody loved G.I. Joe. And it's I just definitely never... just you. It's definitely yeah, just you. Yeah, like I said, I don't... I was, I was looking for G.I. Joe toys. Wars, I was in a Star Wars bubble. Today. Yeah. Yeah, so... Um, now, do we both got the same number one? Yes, we do. 100%. Now, because I said we both want to just... We just want to say it right now what it is. Did you give your number two? Oh, I didn't, did I? Thank you. See, that's why you're here to keep me from screwing up. Okay. You ready I mean, for my number? Look, two? It, uh, it's going to be better than your number three. I promise. You think that. you know what my number two was? I'm going to say Shogun Warriors. It was on your list. Like Clash of the Titans. Oh, no. man, that would have been a good one. <laughs> Here we go. What a small picture. It's going to come up and won't be too small. He okay. Man. My number that two. Is, number two. Yes. I mean, even yeah. they might not yeah. have been the best. But I fell in love with them so much. I wow. kept them at my grandma's house so they wouldn't get lost. And I went over there and I laid on the floor and I played He Man, Castle Grayskull all mm -hmm. day and night. Uh, just loved it. And it's the next thing to Star Wars, I can say, when it comes to toys. When I think toys, Star Wars yeah. and then He Man. Sure. So, I, I, just, I love it. I don't know if we got more to say in it. We already talked about it, but. Well, it's look, it's my number 10 and your number two. That could tip the scales on some pole boats. That so, is, that is. Yep. Um, and uh, right. I'll let you reveal number one, but I'm pretty yeah. sure we got the same number it's one. It's going to be the same one for both of us. And look, I, and I've got to say this, like, uh, um, why could it not be the same? <laughs> uh, so my number one. If you say black hole, I'm I'm coming up there. No, bro. My number one is the Inspector Gadget series. Oh, Inspector uh, Gadget. <laughs> my number one oh. is Kenner Star Wars. Of course. All day long. Now, look. If it weren't for the movies, if you if you literally just held mm. a Kenner Star Wars figure up next to any G.I. Joe figure. The Star Wars figures is, lo is losing. Hasbro made a far superior toy, but Star Wars had something that G.I. Joe didn't have, and that's the movies, and that's the imagination. And there will had never rubber be, bands in them, and they there fall will over. Never be, there will, but they had articulation, son. They could move hated anywhere you wanted. So oh. it's it's a it's an easy number one for yes. me. Uh, to have Star Wars there. Yep. I used to trade my G.I. Joes for Star Wars figures that I didn't have. Oh, yeah. I wanted an R5-D4 so bad. That, I traded three three G.I. Joes for, for an R5-D4. R5-D4? Yeah. Nobody wanted an R5-D4, did they? <laughs> I love the droids, man. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I guess if you were in the droids. At least you didn't see an FX-7. And then I would have the... Yeah, that's kind of a, yeah, I'm with you. I'm with yeah, you. at least not a trade for him. But yeah, I mean, what this toy, this is the king of toy lines. It and G.I. Joe. I'll give you G.I. Joe. Them are the two like 80s toy lines when you think, you know, they're the, like I said, if you did a Hall of Fame right or Mount Rushmore. Is, yeah. yeah. Transformers is there with them to me. Yeah. To, to me, those are the big three. You know, maybe He Man. I might squeeze He Man in there. Like if you do a Mount Rushmore top four all time, then you do Transformers, G.I. Joe, Star Wars, and He Man would be. Popular, popular, because like every kid played with those, except for me. I didn't play with Transformers or G. Masters of the Universe was insanely popular. Yes, 
and so it killed I, Star Wars. I mean, it. I'm well, Star you. Wars, you know, the movie was over, so it was dying anyway. But well, GI Joe shit Star Wars too. GI Joe yeah, murdered yeah, Star definitely. Wars eventually. When after '83, when there were no more Star Wars movies coming out, it was over. Yeah. Power of the Force lineup failed. They're great figures. Don't get me wrong. That yeah. Imperial Gunner figure. You can't have a better figure than that. I mean, that I love that figure. Yeah, ten out of ten. But but GI mm. Joe really. I also remember the day, my very first GI Joe action figure. My mother said, "Pick one." I got Storm Shadow, my first GI Joe figure. Man, who do you know? A guy on a motorcycle. Guy came with a motorcycle. I went to a birthday party and I had a birthday party. And somebody gave me a GI Joe and I opened it up and I was like, "This thing's Star Wars." But it was a G.I. Joe on a motorcycle. That's all I remember was the motorcycle and a G.I. Joe. I don't Joe. remember a motorcycle. They probably got me some generic fake G.I. Joe. Was it, was it green? Are you sure it was a motorcycle? Yeah, I think what, it was green. Was it, a, was it called a swamp skier? It could have been Zartan. I don't know. I'll have to look and see. I just remember having a motorcycle. Maybe I got a motorcycle and a figure, and I just my mind combined them as they came together or something. Okay. Breaker. What is Breaker? Is that a G.I. Joe? Or is he just talking? CB Breaker bullet? is a GI Joe. I don't know if he came with a motorcycle. Swamp speeder. May it wasn't a speed. Maybe, like I said, I was like real little, so yeah. I was just okay. it was my only GI Joe because somebody gave hey, it. Hey, so so like real talk. One of my favorite action figures of all time was Orko. I think if, I hear people pick on it. I love that Orko figure. Great figure. I I remember the day I lost him in kindergarten. I was oh. throwing him I was throwing him up in the air real high on the playground. Yeah. And I threw it so high I lost it and somebody stole it. Oh. And I was so mad for years. I bet so. I thought you was gonna tell me it went on top of the school. I was gonna tell you, let's let's get let's a ladder and go. Down that kid. kid, if you're watching, I'm gonna find you. It's gonna happen. <laughs> I I love that. And here's one that I get made fun of for liking. Um Ram Man. Why does no one like Ram Man? Well, for starters, his name is Ram Man. Well, he, he I could use him to bust down the door of Castle Grace Gold. That's why I like it. Yeah. Nobody likes him. Yeah. I like Ram Man. I love that Orca. You pull the string, he spin all around and everything. Yeah. Yeah. And I was so mad he wasn't in the live action movie. I agree. It hurts. I am an Orco fan. The movie's. Not good. No. <laughs> when I saw when I saw it in eighty seven, I was like, you know, and Evil Lynn's pretty hot. Yeah, she's she's pretty good. Uh my son got into He Man for a little while. When he was about eight or nine, I let him watch the movie thinking he'd hate it and he wanted to watch it every day. I don't know why. That movie came out a little late too. Yeah. Yeah. It like, could have been more based on the cartoon and about eighty five, I think it would have been better. Mm -hmm. It was nothing like the cartoon, so that made me mad. Like he man on Earth, and you know, uh, Ram Man was cool. He has no architectural He sure doesn't. But at least he looked different. All the other He Man figures look alike. Man, they sure did save some money on He Man figures, didn't they? Like they all did. got the same mold. Yep. <laughs> I got get some getting some Ram Man love. Stinkor. Is that the one that smelled like a skunk? Yep. Stinker. Yeah, I called him like Skunk Man or something in a video. Everybody got mad at me. I had his name wrong. <laughs> oh, Stinko. That's what I call him. Stinko. That's what I thought his name was. Stinko. But, uh, so you want to put a poll up? Oh, you yeah, let me if I can figure out how without crashing and everything. So I go to the live stream on YouTube. Yeah. Huh. You know where I go once I go to the page? Then in settings. Oh, where'd you go? Where'd you go? You kicked did me. I do, did I do that? Yeah, uh, dude. <laughs> no, I did it. <laughs> huh. So you've got to go into your uh, custom customization con control room. Oh, I don't oh, I don't know about that. I don't, see, I never use the live feature. All right. So, so I go to go live, maybe? All right. So follow these steps. Go to your YouTube channel. Okay. Okay. Top right. Click your little picture and say your channel. Okay. And then uh, click manage videos. I don't go to your channel. Hold on just a second. <laughs> I will edit all this out for the video later. Okay. Go. Uh, now I'm not in the studio. I'm on the your page. Oh, manage videos. There it is. Okay. Yeah. 
All right. Well, I'm now click the studio. Just stay where I was. Okay. Click click the live tab. I was being real slow. My computer is really slow. Okay, uh, live tab. Okay. All right. Now you're going to see an icon for that video that looks like an antenna. Click that. Mm, I don't have that. Oh, you talking about the view live control room button? Yes. I know what you're talking about. Okay. Okay. Now, you, I'm here. now, now look at the bottom right hand side where your chat's going. Ooh, you I can see the add, chat. You can add a poll. Man, you know everything. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Man. I think I just started YouTube this week. Everybody, don't feel bad. You can vote for Junk Man. He's the host. It's it's okay. It, I, soon, it's okay. Soon, as soon as I'm winning the poll, I'm turning it off and say that's it. I like my list. It's all good. <laughs> okay, Give us some feedback, Chad. If you if you enjoyed um, if you enjoyed this little head to head, and if you got any ideas um, for the next yes. one, then let us know. Or if you think this is dumb, don't do any more of these videos. Let me know that too, so we don't, don't waste our time and we can reformat. Oh, you've you've had like sixty people here the whole time. We're good. I know. I'm good. Yeah, we're good. Uh, is that? I guess the poll is showing. So somebody let me know. I don't know. I think I did it. And I am not going to vote on the poll. Do you see the poll? Yeah, it's it's who has. See, the if I open too many windows, my computer crashes. So that's why. Yeah, <laughs> I need a new computer. All right. Oh, it's oh, buddy, it's neck and neck, buddy. It's fifty six forty four right now. now. Votes are still coming in. Oh, Man, you're killing feels, me! You're killing me! It, it it feels like it's like election night, buddy. God, you're killing. <laughs> we'll give it a few more minutes. We'll give it a few more minutes. But you're killing me. I'm at forty one percent. You're at fifty nine percent. Hey, hey, twenty two votes. We got fifty five people here. Come you on, didn't have me. you didn't have GI Joe or Transformers. I know. I know. Like, I, I will you have put a yourself at a serious, you know, disadvantage. If this was the top ten best if, Star Wars figures. I would have crushed. If you, if you have a toy channel, and you have a. <laughs> oh, that's called you brought you brought along some of your millennial friends over here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm down to thirty five percent now. Junk oh. mm -mm -mm. so, man demands a recount, Opus. Yes. <laughs> I think they came in late. And didn't see. They didn't see that I had Duke of Hazard on the list. That's what it is. Oh, uh, GI Joe was the last Jerry, straw. Jerry's in my corner. Jerry says Thundercats and GI Joe. Mm. Yeah, but you went with the uh, the safe bets. So I went with hey, the obscure. Those are the ones that I had, <laughs> I, bro. I put Battle Beast on there. I couldn't do ones I played with because I only played with Star Wars and He Man. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like I had to reach into the nineties. Wait, I put. I put muscle and muscle and battle beast. So oh, I, 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 the muscles are not action figures. That's what the poll should have been. Our muscles action figures. Oh yes, they are. They have no yes, action. They don't. They're they're racers. <laughs> <laughs> they're pencil top of racers that don't race. And I think you. I think Rick you got is, me on this one. Rick is on Team Junk Man. Thank you, Rick. Thank you, Rick. Coach Man, had muscle and out. knockoff muscle. Yes, he had two muscle lines. Thank you, SP Simmons. Muscles are action figures. Thank you. I don't know about that. Siren, I know. How you didn't you even have like Star Trek. Do they not know I had Star Trek on the list? Nobody can Dude, you didn't even have the Mego original toy line. You had <sighs> Next Generation. That's if the best one. Have, no. No. Who doesn't like Next Generation? Oh, God. He gonna go get his Nico figure. But I already got a Nico figure. Next Generation is good show. Great toy line. Better than Galoob. At least he didn't have... I, I was worried he would have that black hole stuff on there. A little, little Kirk action oh. for you. Little Kirk action. That's fair. Little, so little 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 Spock action. Little Spock action for you. Oh, and his camera focuses. Mine never will. Little little McCoy action. Oh. For you. Little little Scotty 
Scotty action for you? I don't see no Picard. I don't see no LaForge. I don't see no Wharf. Little little Alia action. Kind of looks like you a little bit. Hey. That's, Matt, that's the Matt Risman figure. Yeah. That's the, uh, <laughs> yeah, it does, yeah. And, I oh, my gosh. Uh, oh, his name is leaving me. Help me. Uh, uh, Captain. Captain, uh, Captain Janeway. No. No. <laughs> Where's these your, are better. These are better than the ones that you put. Where's your Borg? Where's your Q? No, ain't got it. Well, how about this one? Look at this. That's a that's good one. a Mego figure. That's a good one. So I actually had that, and I sent that to Mexican Iron Man as a gift because that was <gasps> his favorite figure. That is nice of you. My brother had it in the playset. I did love the playset. I almost put it on the list because I love the Enterprise playset. Did Lombardi, did they make a checkoff in this toy line? I don't think they did. No, nah, in the little one, I don't think they did. Yeah, I don't think they did. Or a Sulu. No, it was very limited. They didn't, I think you got about the whole run. Wasn't there a Klingon, like a bad guy Klingon? Or was that another line? What, what Was that the motion picture you got, or was that? Yeah. Okay, it's Final Front Secure Figures, I think they made a. And oh, Indiana something. Smith, I have read. Many, not all, not the entire series. I think there's 107 of them, but but I have read many of them. Yes, I have read them all. I've got every issue. You got all 107 original Plus three annuals. Yep, yeah. I bought them in the really? 90s and they were like a dollar a piece, and I would track them That's all down. Great idea, and I'm great glad idea. I held on to them. But you know what? I have something even better. No, oh here's where it is. he whips out his toys and shows everybody. Can I, would you like to see? If he brings a black hole figure, I'm shutting the whole thing down. Oh, I'm losing the pole. I'm losing the pole. It's all it's all subjective, but I love my oh. Star Logs. Yeah, I've seen you talk about those. They are good. You I the love my Star Logs. You got them in Nashville, didn't you? I got a lot of them in Nashville. I mean, I already had the first 50, but there's a guy That's in Nashville. Cool, yeah, I got three of these. <laughs> hmm. Yep. yep. They oh, are the best. They're fun to read. So much great information. You, you. Oh yeah, I've done videos just of stuff I pulled out of some of those star logs. Same, same, same. So, and there's one that has an interview with the uh, what was it Sebastian guy that played Anakin? Sebastian Shaw. Yeah, and you don't see any uh, interviews with him, so it was cool finding that because you don't see that much. Yeah, he had never seen Star Wars. He didn't know a thing about it. No, but uh. Yeah, yeah. Well, I have a Dark Horse comic if it makes you jealous. I use it as a mouse pad. It does. That's really cool. Yeah. So so there were some toy lines that I wanted to put. You you laughingly said <sighs> you you laughingly said the black hole. I'm the, surprised you didn't have it on there. The men were horrible. Yes. I know you like But Vincent is one of the best action figures of any toy line ever. He is the Orco to the black hole figures. Vincent I've never I've, I've seen him, but I've never held him. I've never had it, so I don't know how I, good yeah, it is. Yeah, I had him. Um if they had if 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 old Bob was also in that toy line and not an Italian uh yeah. exclusive, he was only made in Italy. You can't find that figure, and if you do, no, it's gonna no. it's gonna cost you four figures. Um for like a thousand dollars, four figures, not not toys, <laughs> but, uh, but anyways, yeah, if that, if old Bob was in that line, I probably would have had that line in my top 10, but mm. yeah. Uh, have you seen the new one? The new the reaction one. is done. Oh yeah. yeah, looked yeah. Like the old I, one? I, I want to get those and I've actually, uh, got a guy on standby, uh, I'm, I'm thinking about commissioning to build me a one-to-one -one oh. scale replica of, oh. of Vincent, of Vincent. So, Man, I'll, so I'll awesome. have him, I'll have him back here, you know, just kind yeah. of chilling, you know, yeah. be cool. Oh, that, would, that would be awesome to have. But, uh, you know, some people have R2-D2s. I can't afford R2-D2. 
<laughs> no. And I don't have the skills to make one either. So Me either. Me I know either. a guy that makes them. He's part of the droid uh, club. And he's like, just make mm -hmm. you one. I was like, I, believe me, I could not make that R2 if I tried. And he's like, yeah. you can download instructions. I was like, no, nah, you don't know me. I, there's no way I can make that. I hear you. They're impressive. Same way. It would be cool to see a vent. vent. Nobody's done that. I've never seen nobody make him. So it'd be hey, kind of cool. If my lawnmower quits working, we're SOL. <laughs> well, like, I, I, I can't fix it. <laughs> oh, yeah. I can't. I can't fix it. I might be able to fix your Wi Fi if it goes out. That's about, <laughs> that's about it. Uh, somebody mentioned Show Warriors again, just to let you know. It was very close to my list, but I only had one. So I didn't put it on my list because I only had the big one. Uh, mask. Nobody put mask. I'm surprised none of us had mask on here. Nope. I, I never got really. Yeah, I know. I was a little old when it came out on that one, too. I think you have more of the late 80 stuff, and I have more of the. Well, I only have Star Wars. <laughs> you, Did you, you like that? You skipped huh? a whole generation. Like you, you went from 70s to 90s. You skipped all that 80s goodness, except for Messers of the Universe. You didn't have. My head right. Yeah, Joe. You didn't have Thundercats. You didn't no. have Muscle. No. You didn't have Voltron. You didn't have Transformers. Well, at least like, we had a different yeah. list. So at least we didn't do a top ten list if everybody had the same thing. So that's good. That's true. That's true. It could have been. That could have been boring. By the way, I, I'm not trying to count my chickens before they hatch, but I have an 18 point lead in the poll. Yes, I'm stopping the poll before I look even worse. <laughs> Coach wins at 59. percent Junk man loses. Yes. 41 yes. but i tell you what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put a poll i'm gonna put a poll in the community tab of what the top 10 list should be next time how about that and we'll let the well, audience well, they can, can they type their answer no i'm just gonna give some i'm gonna give like four or five choices oh okay so cool. if you've got a top 10 you'd like to do then you can tell me too and i'll add it to the poll i'm down and for whatever will. if i'm yeah. if i'm able to do it i'm i'll do it so yeah, and we'll, let it, let it be known, I am winning one to zero. Final results right here, Coach fifty eight percent, Jumpman ninety nine percent. Oh, uh, maybe I read that wrong. Jumpman forty one percent. Yep. Can you highlight uh, Jerry's comment down there, please? I, it's oh, very yes. important to me, Jerry. That, yeah, Jerry, which one? Jerry Starchild, please. Uh, hey, he's got. Oh. Oh, I see which one. The, the this bottom one, right one. Here. The, the, the one that's no, right here. No, right here. That's the one you're talking about right here, right? This is the one this that's is important. Nothing the like the 70s important. Green Army Men. You're right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Glad hell, mm -hmm. That's a good one right there. Mm -hmm. Here we so, go. I'll give you the glory. Coach wins one time. One time. Echo Base Network merch. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't have any. He didn't have any Star Trek on his list. Uh, Remco Monster Figure. That's a good line, too. It is. That was a good one. Hey, Clash but, of the Titans. I give you X-Men. Uh, X-Men was a good one. Tron, you know, was good. Hell, I, I almost put, which I was I was old, Dragon Ball Z. Dragon um, Ball Z? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Metal Gear Solid had some great figures. Mm. Dragon Ball Z. Nation say, my, uh, Nation say Power too. Rangers were on your list. Nah, nah. Never. I never. I never could get into Power Rangers. I thought it was horrible. I was way too old, I guess, when it came out. I was like, this hey, looks. JDRC says this show has been awesome. Keep doing them. No, oh, good. Okay. You hear? Did you I, hear that, Russ? I'm coming for yeah. you. Yeah. Uh oh, Russ. Sorry. <laughs> it's over now. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Bro, oh, hopefully we can do it. Me. This is this has been a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. I, I love talking toys, man. So I'm yeah, gonna do more hopefully. of this on my on my channel. Yeah, for sure. Sounds good. Yeah, next time we'll make sure we get it on both. So we yeah. figure out how, <laughs> like we did last what, night. So whatever, whatever you um, want to do. Yep. Yeah. Sounds good. And uh, like I said, I'm gonna edit it down and put it up. If you want to put it up on your channel, feel free. I'll send you the file. I don't. On your coach, what is your coach archives? Coaches archives. Yep. It makes it sound like a sports channel. I'll be honest with you. Well, <laughs> too late now, right? Ever, if you ever see it, you instantly know it's not. Yeah, you know it's not. It's <laughs> kind of like Indiana, I was, Indiana uh, Jones and Tron and Star Wars and Battlestar Galactica and you know. Yeah, well, anyway, I get people like I, 
Jumpman don't sound like a toy channel or nothing. It sounds like, you know, well, it's, it's junk. But, uh, okay, I guess we're going to get out of here. All right. Thanks for having so me, brother. Chat. Thank you, guys. And Enjoy you hanging out, man. Come back. Yeah, come back at 8 o'clock. You can watch it again. Edit it. But now that I got they my picture. They already know who wins. <laughs> I'm in the stream. Bye, guys. Wait, he's going to edit it. He's going to win. I won. <laughs> <laughs>